Hello and welcome to this video in abstract thesis series we are discussing the admin privileges and now we are going to discuss some of the tenant settings in the Power BI administration so let's jump to the Power BI so how to reach here first of all you need to click on these three dots then you have to go to the setting and click on admin portal and once you click on the admin portal you will reach now first thing which you are going to discuss in the admin portal is the tenant setting on the left hand side you have the link for the tenant setting now first setting which we have is the setting is to there to you know publish yeah so we can publish the information now help information now what is the advantage of publishing this help information uh, so we'll, we'll let's let's look what kind of information we can have so now what is happening is this is by default disabled and I'm enabling it so once I enable I see you know I can give training you and documentation URL discussion forum licensing request URL and help desk now these are the URL which you might have built up in your company now it is always helpful if an organization have some kind of internal help which can be provided to the end user specifically you know how where to request uh, you know for the licensing or if there is a training or documentation you might have done it is not only about the power bi documentation it is also about the project for which you might have done the documentation that could be also centralized at one place now so there are different urls which you can provide uh, and there they there are four of them now this is for training documentation you could give this is for the discussion forum you should give this is for the licensing request and then for the help desk okay now apply this to entire organization you should prefer to that otherwise you can specify the security group email enabled security group are also allowed here so you can actually you know specify that accept the security uh, groups in the set uh, setting you can remove some of them and you can acquire right now uh, so these are the settings which you can deploy right now what I'm going to do I'm going to cancel it and I'm not going to do it but it is advised that you can have these kind of settings done in your organization and you have these kind of URLs in your organization it is always helpful to provide more help to the power bi user so in this this is under the help and uh, support now the next one which comes into the tenant setting is receive email notification for the service outage and incident now what happens if the power bi service there is an outage or there is you know who need to be uh, you know who need to be notified okay so uh, it is email enabled again security groups can be there so, okay so mail enabled security groups are supported in power bi for this purpose and what we can do here is we can right now it's by default it is disabled we can enable it and enter the security group which we need to be there again this is need to be email enabled security group who should re receive the emails when there is a service outage okay and we can apply so they can be notified and they can further take action we can cancel it and if I without cancelling if I do it let's see this will remain as unapplied changes so best way is that you go here and if you are not doing any action cancel it okay and it come back to the default stage default disabled now there are you know options like allowed user to try the power bi paid features so what happens like if i go here i have an option to you know try premium uh, per user for free ppu okay premium per user i can try i'm a pro user so i can try premium per user uh, for free i have option this would be a 30 day trial or 60 day trial depending on what is ongoing right now and based on that i will get a trial and i can try that for free now do I really want my organization uh, in the my organization do I really want people to try that so if yes then I should enable this feature for the entire organization ideally speaking if you are allowing it you can allow it for entire organization or you can control it to the specific security groups accept the security groups the same setting which we have seen in the first one so right now you have the power bi pro and the power bi premium feature available for 60 days and if you have taken a trial and then you have taken a license also then you automatically should be migrated to the license after the you know your trial has expired now uh, the thing is that uh, you we should know that whether really we want it to do or not and if you have already given you know a, a request link for the license you can force that to the people and by disabling it you know, you so that people does not uh, you know go ahead and by default accidentally uh, you know uh, take the advantage of the free features by they will get disabled and they create the problem is not that they, these got disabled and you get overcharged the bigger problem is let's say you went ahead with PPU you created something in the premium capacity and then you don't have a plan to have the premium capacity and then then that content might be you know something which you need to worry about because if that content is not 
uh, is more than what you can have in your pro capacity and you are using a prim ppu capacity which is bigger than that and you you might have to you know uh, if you are unable to you know retrieve all those things you might end up losing the data so that is something which you need to plan you uh, because you know sometime you may only run incremental load or you might only load the data using the data flow in the capacity only we might not load into everything into the file you watch my data flow video for that that how can you you know only have data into the data flow in power bi service not even getting it into the power bi uh, desktop now for that you need premium capacity if you don't want to if you want to import it as the direct query there are settings for that also and that is given at the data flow level we, we will explore that at some time now now the last setting which we will cover in this video and then we are there workspace setting for which we need to have to create a separate video around it see show the custom message before publishing and i i think you should uh, you know uh, enable it uh, for the organization if you wanted to have some specific message that you know make sure the content i uh, are is is compliant uh, to the organization policy you are only sharing it uh, you know you are publishing and sharing it only with the people uh, who are uh who supposed to be having access to this your uh, tenant your workspace might have access to certain user as an admin and all of that is going to get that content so all these warnings or message if you want to give that thing you should go ahead and have this message and uh, so now again same kind of you know uh, things we have entire organization specify the security group or accept security group so one of the three you can choose but uh, ideally speaking this should be there for the entire organization so go ahead and do that i'm going to cancel it right now i don't want it to have a message so these are the first few settings and then at some time in the next videos we are going to go ahead and look at the workspace setting and how does we can take the advantage of those workspace setting Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.